Alright guys, welcome to today's video and today we're unboxing that. So this is a parcel, I believe. Actually I think it might not be what I think it is. I think this is something that's gonna help this very much. Okay, so uh I'm just gonna open it. Right, okay, so um yeah we've got this out and now we're gonna get it out. So this is an Amazon 30 kilo servo. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know whether it's going to be any good. It was about 11 quid, so I doubt it. But the one I got at the minute, I believe, is 15 kg. I'm not 100% sure. Yep, I just checked that uh, sticker on the bottom of there. It just says 15 kg. So, um, yeah, um, I've got some tools up there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take this out. So I believe first we need to. Uh, I forgot to bring my cable tie. First, we need to trace this cable into the receiver box and unplug the brown, red, and yellow cable for the servo. And then we're gonna well, unscrew it and do it there. And um, I have got a new servo horn, and it has got the servo savers. I'm not a million percent sure which one I should use, so I'm just going to use the normal servo horn. And if it don't work, then I'm screwed. But we'll um, we'll figure something out. Um, has got a lot of screws and stuff in there, but you know how hard can it be? But yeah, we're going to fit this, um, and uh, yeah, let's do it. First, we need to take that aerial out of all of there because. We do not want to snap this when we pull the receiver box off. Because if we do that, then it means new receiver. And I don't really want to spend any more money on this car. Because I've spent nearly 300 quid on it. But that's only in the past year. That's fine. It doesn't matter. 700 in total. Oh yeah, we're just going to take this out. And then, um, yeah, well, that, there's the, uh, the aerial. Now we need a two, 1.5, two, two, two mil. I'm going to unscrew them two and them two, one there and one there. And we're going to take the brown cable off. Let's do it. Oh, that's the point. Is this cable long enough? Yeah, that's long enough. I just took the battery strap out because it was annoying me trying to get to these. So, yeah. I'm the truth. I don't think I've ever opened this. I just have to. And um, undo that because that's plugged into there. And actually, as soon as we don't have these lights anymore, I don't need which cable is it? I don't need this cable because, oh God's sake, I don't need this cable because them cable went to the lights on the other body. And as soon as I'm running this body and it don't have lights in it, I might as well take that out. So I'm going to save about 20 grams there, if uh, if that. And uh, but yeah, it's a holy moly. I don't know where you can see it on camera, but that is dirty as. Um, now, the steering server ones, this one right on the here. There's some cables plugged in here. I'm not quite sure what they're for. This is definitely for the lights, the bumper lights. I'm going to keep that one. Um, yeah, I'm going to unplug that. Oh, first, I'm going to cut all these cable ties because. At the server wires in there somewhere, and yeah, we're gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll show you when I've got the server cable out. Something I really recommend is nail clippers. They just clip cable ties so easily. Not specifically these ones because these ones are a bit naff, but other brands are brilliant. Like throughout the build series, if you go watch my last two videos which are about 45 minutes each. Um, they, oh, for God's sake, man. I've been using uh, nail clippers, and they cut cable ties really well. These ones are a bit rubbish, and they are from Lynx, so I'm a bit upset from that. But, yeah, um, I usually use stuff like this to clip my cable ties, so. Top five coming out soon.
And again, already made two. Yay. Okay, so we've got the server wire out. I ended up using these to clip them. I don't know what these are, but they're sharp and there's nip cable ties, so whatever this is, get one because this is rubbish. These are good. Just be careful when when you do it because I nearly cut one of these wires, but I didn't because I'm good. So yeah, that's that wire out. Uh, now we need to take oh god, we need to take the servo horn off. Which I uh, might as well just unscrew that because we've got a new servo horn. So if I unscrew that, and then there's two screws either side, that should just slide out. If it doesn't work, I'm probably gonna cry, but. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, all unscrewed now, so just, oh, that was easy. But, um, yeah, can't see it, because, oh, the stickers just fell off in my hand. Um, but yeah, it says, oh, God's sake, 15 kilo servo FTX waterproof. So, um, that's probably all the oil that's made that come off. But, you know, we're not gonna use it, so. Right, okay, so. I forgot to film, but I literally just take this out of the packet now. Um, yeah, it's just loads of servo things, so I'm not going to use them because I don't think I need them. So there we go. There's the metal servo on, 25 tooth. Uh, yeah, nice. And we got the servo, so it is a um, oh whatever that says, a disk servo, digital or so I don't know what. If that's a brand or is it just off brand but yeah um we're not gonna install it yet but we're gonna just plug it in and check if it works because honestly i don't want to go through the hassle of putting all that back in if it ain't gonna work so we're gonna try it so let's do that right, okay so i didn't actually know that lit up green but it works and it's actually quite quick as well all right okay so i got that in um it's not connected to anything and uh, I've got that cable running all the way down there into where the refu uh, refuser, the receiver box will go and um, I'm just going to wipe up a bit of this stuff because this greasy sand is not nice and it's everywhere so um, yeah um, the cable sits in there quite nicely uh, just got to put all this lot in for the lights afterwards uh, that one clips into the top of there and then that one because it's a joined I can't take it out and the minus um, hold on I'm going to see if I unplug that or if I unplug uh, never mind actually yeah if I unplug that will the bumper light still work let me check that Right, okay, so it didn't work. Um, yes, you do need this plugged in for the bumper light, so we're gonna keep that, but we're just gonna do what I did before. Tuck that one down there, and then that plugs into the top of there, and it'll, it'll all look nice with all the cable ties on it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find some cable ties and then sort that out. Right, okay, so I've got that all wired back up again, and um, yeah, sure. So, Fits in there nicely, wire's not too tight, and uh, all of this is a bit tight, but that's all solid in there now. Um, what we need to do now is turn all the steering trim down to like back to factory settings, and then turn the car on, and it should all like zip it back to centre, and then we put the servo horn, uh, yeah, 90 degrees from the, from the uh, from the um, what's it from the servo, so it should look like that kind of if you can see that, but on the other side. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that now and I'll show you once I've got that on. All right, okay, so it's finished. Um, I know it's not gonna be perfectly lined up, I've got the servo horn lined up with the servo. Looking at that, it is actually a little bit wonky, but you know, it turns enough, and um, I actually had to turn it down. I actually have to turn the oh god's sake I had to turn the steering server down to just over 25% you can see there look because um, the servo it turned that much it was turning like this much 
either way and these um these axles they don't allow that much so when this this when this hits there that's the maximum steering angle but this was hitting there and it was compressing the suspension because it was like pulling it more so i had to turn it all the way down and it still hits but it doesn't pull it so we've got maximum steering possible but um let me plug it in and i'll show you the speed okay so just hold that with my knee and then i'll show you how quick it is so that's what i'm doing at one hand For a really, really cheap servo, that's fast. No, it's not at 100%, which means it will be quicker reaching the top, but that's, that's quick for a crawler. But yeah, um, it's twice as much torque as what this has. And um, for starters, that isn't covered in grease and this is, and this, I bought that server over a month ago. I bought it from Banggood. I'll put the link in the description. And um, about two weeks ago, I noticed that this was actually getting a bit sluggish and a bit slow and not very like strong anymore. So um, yeah, I pretty much bought it just in time. But yeah, we've got a couple more videos of the build series left. I think we've got about two more, and then um yeah that'll be it done and then we can go trail crawling and stuff sam has got some mods coming for his car not sure when but yeah but i might get the aluminium bumper mounts because there's loads of things you can get for this you can get the bumper mounts you can get this brace thing under here replaced you can get that belly plate replaced you can, what else can you get? Um, well, there's like shocks and stuff that you can get, but I might actually replace the shocks as well, but for the minute, they're all right. So, yeah. Um, turn it off now, pack everything away, do the steering alignment. I'm not going to video that because that's going to be boring. And, yeah. Hope you like the video, guys, and, um, yeah. See you in a bit. Wait, 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 wait. Also subscribe. Don't subscribe to Tesco, but subscribe to me, please.